Hey there, friendlies, how's up? I got something cool here that I've actually had for months and months. Uh, so what do I have here? I have the Victorinox Venture Pro knife and the Venture Pro kit. So let's just pop this baby open. In the, the knife, you get uh, sort of a belt loop and the knife in a sheath. So the knife itself looks like this. The stats are as follows. Um, it, it's got a good sort of bushcrafty look to it. I, that's a silly way of putting it, but it's the kind of blade shape that I tend to look for in my in my knives is something I, I really immediately know how to use, I guess. Um, but it's a flat ground. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it's a flat ground, which I'm not really used to. I'm much more used to Scandies. Uh, this model, I think it's the Pro, um, but this model has a divot for um, a fire drill. And at the end here, it's got a bit driver. See that? Uh, which of course would double as a lanyard hole. In the sheath itself, you get a minuscule little fire rod, um, a minuscule little ferro rod, uh, as well as some, so what I would consider to be Victorinox classics. If we come here, you kind of need to have nails to do this. We got some tweezeros. Like, can you see that? Is that visible at all? And an awl. Okay, so it'll click in. Okay, there it's clicked. Rattles a bit, but it's not coming out. Does rattle a bit though, so I'm not sure. Um, it's got lashing points if you want to lash it onto your bag or something. And one of the things about this is that Victorinox's instructions are garbage. So there, I, I believe, there you go, that's, that's if you want to do a, uh, a belt carry, which I just showed you, but it was off camera, so I don't feel silly at all. Hold on. So you click that in, and I think, if I remember correctly, you put this loop over there like that. Okay. I'm just doing the design stuff now. Um, for the the functions, what I'll do is uh, take it back, uh, and if it's not too windy down by the water, I'll do some stuff there. If it is, I'll just take it home and do the cutting and the chopping and the stuffs and the stuffs uh, later. So it looks like a good robust package, but it seems awkward to wear to me because this roughness here, look, there's a lot of mounting point stuff on there, right? Sorry, I'm trying to get this into, right? There's a lot going on there, but I, I just, I have a hard time thinking of it being comfortable without this, but I don't see this fitting on it with all this rigmarole on. Um, I want to show you this as well. This is an extra purchase, this Venture Pro kit. It's some little tools that go with the knife, which, I mean, I guess they're um, quality of life upgrades. But, again, the box doesn't show how to actually install it. So what we do know is it kind of goes around. I'm, I, think what it, I think it's designed to go around like here, okay? Got a little hook that goes over this loop. Because the whole idea here is that this should be uh, some tools that you can take off if you need to. All right. So that's on like that. The actual mounting, I believe. So there's a strap that comes up and over, so I'm thinking that, I have no bleeping idea. 
it, it doesn't seem to make to make sense to me because like it doesn't wrap this way it goes this way but then how oh wait a minute wait a minute here do you come through like this let me put the knife down for a sec what do you think maybe like this Maybe. Victorinox, man, I really want to like your package deal here, but it's giving me some trouble. The thing is, there are probably instructions like on their website or some damn thing, but I need, I need something in the box for the kind of situation that I'm in right now, where I'm actually sitting in, in the woods, and I don't necessarily have access to on lines. Yeah, I think I think this is how it goes. It's I mean, this is a fire and forget thing, right? So you, you figure it out once, you, you you know, you have one headache and then it's done, but still. Like I want to show you guys my confusion just in case somebody buys this thing and has the same confusion. I want you to, you know, granted, some of you may be absolute experts at this. And you're like, oh no, it's a simple Molly thing that you're not noticing or some damn thing. Okay, fine, but I really wish that was orange all of a sudden. I see it. Now you're gonna slip through there? Like, is this how it goes on? I was all, woo, Victorinox has a knife out. I gotta get me some of that goodness. Oh, actually, yep, yep, okay. That is how it goes on. So that's what those loopies are for. Hold on, let me get the, uh, let me get the sheath. Okay, so that, that's how it happens. <laughs> and then this stretches and goes over here. Where did I put the knife? Right there. Right-handed carry. Okay, and then, so what does all this rigmarole give me? Well. Couple of things. Here, I'm trying to get it to focus on this. We have a little bit. You see that bit? Can you see that? See the little bitty bit? Is that focusing? Okay. So it's a 20 mil. I do not know what that is in old money. And then in here, These are little uh, honing stones for uh, for honing your, your thing in the bush. Now, apparently, these actually fit into something. Look, this is either a really cool package, but their um, lack of instructions is, is a real stumbling block, or maybe this stuff ain't so useful, but that's bit right there fits in that of course right so you can just sort of so I mean it, it's a cool looking package I, I just I don't think that's gonna be comfortable if that's my belt loop and what was the use of buying the pro version if I'm just gonna use that inner sheath with this right also man I kind of wish there was a loop that went over that because I mean it's not coming out but actually now it's suddenly not shaking because I've got this on. So maybe maybe that's not a problem after all. Okay, so if I didn't have all this crap on that inner sheath, it would shake and now it's suddenly not. Anyways, um, I wanna see how this performs, all right? Let's do it.
Yeah, okay. Wait. Okay. Hello? So yeah, there we go. Looking, it looks fine to me. I don't see anything wrong with the edge. So uh, I'm gonna call that a win. Wasn't expecting that to be a win. I think the package is, is pretty good, but like the knife was 175, I'll put that there. This kit thing was like an extra 65. And okay, so I looked into it because I bought this months ago and then I haven't looked at it since. I hadn't even opened the box really. So remember, I told you guys about these two little sharpening things. Here's what you do. In fact, I'm going to show you on this stump. You pop the sheath out of the carrying rigmarole. And then you see these two little holes in here? There are little brackets here as well. So you put these in like that. And then what you do is you aim your knife straight down and you sort of do it like that. The upshot is very simple. I think the ergos on it are very good. I, I like that handle. Um, I think I like the blade shape. It's a blade shape that I'm very familiar with and I know how to rock and roll with. Flat ground I'm not so practiced with, uh, so sharpening it's going to be interesting, especially because it's got a secondary bevel on it, so I'm going to have to be really careful about that. Uh, what I hadn't really gone into is that there's some jimping here for, I guess, if I want to get right up and do some really fine work, uh, especially if you're skinning. This extra kit for the price, no. 40 or 50 bucks, absolutely. <clears throat> especially if you don't have, you if you don't already have like a field sharpening solution. I'm not wearing a belt right now, but the other day when I shot that, uh, the first part of this video, I did wear it around. It's not that bad. It's a little higher than I like because you know me, I like a dangler, but I thought this was going to be all rubbing and uncomfortable and it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, I could definitely wear this all day. So, um, am I glad I have it? Yes. If I didn't have it and I was looking to buy a knife, would this be a good buy? Yes. Just maybe not. That has to come down in price because there isn't enough there to make it worth my money. Uh, these prices are Canadian dollars, by the way, in the States or the UK or whatever. Your mileage may vary. So that's all she wrote. Thanks for hanging out with me for this little Knife review. As I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then do the following three things. One, comment down below. Do you have this? Do you like this? Uh, is there another kind of similar package deal that you think might be a better buy? Uh, second, share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And third, you know what's coming. Leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's okay. Leave me a frowny thumb. That works just as well. Thanks for watching, guys.